you know what went through my head, Barb? Is man, I sure hate my guidance counselor because I, you know, I thought dealing with money was pretty cool, but to be a happiest happiness specialist, I mean, that's pretty fantastic. I think I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go back to school. I think I want to study that. Sounds awesome. Hey, this is Matt Helton with One Trust Home Loans, your reverse mortgage experts, and you found the Serving Senior Podcast. Now, this is the podcast where I highlight those businesses and those professionals that are helping seniors not just get by, not just survive, but thrive in retirement. And today we have a special, special treat. We have two of those individuals that are helping seniors. We have my good friend, Barb Abramson, and we have Edie Galley. Now, Barb's going to introduce Edie, which is a good friend of hers, but I want to introduce Barb because Barb has an amazing business. It's called Making Meaningful Connections, and Barb helps seniors take memories from the past and make connections with other people at their facility or even their caregivers. It's an awesome, awesome group. So, Barb, if you want to share real quick what you do and how you serve seniors, and then please introduce Edie would be awesome. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Matt. So I am a happiness specialist and I help people to connect with each other through joy and maybe to rediscover joy that they haven't felt in a while. Uh, lots of times people ask seniors how they are, but they forget to ask them who they are. And so my workshops um, help people to share their memories. They may not know what they had for lunch. They remember what their mother made for Sunday dinner. They remember things from their childhood, the smells, the sounds. And when they start sharing that in a room full of other seniors, they get, oh my gosh, me too. I also love that. Um, if they're in an assisted living, they may not be there by choice. And so it may be an opportunity to meet people because their friends that they had all their lives may not be there. So it really helps them make connections with other people. It also works great in adult daycare facilities. And I even work with training home caregivers so that they can go visit and have some really interesting conversations and really get a little bit more in touch with the people wow. that they're seeing. That's all. You know, it went through my head, Barb, is man, I sure hate my guidance counselor because, I, you know, I thought dealing with money was pretty cool, but to be a happiest happiness specialist, I mean, that's pretty fantastic. I think I'm going to change. I'm going to go back to school. I think I want to study that. Sounds awesome. What about the happy uh, mortgage loan officer? Hey, that's great. Well, you're, you're, uh, you're bringing that energy and that excitement, happiness to me on a daily basis. So thank you for that. Likewise. Yeah. So I'm honored to introduce my dear friend, Edie Galley. Um, Edie and I became friends many years ago when I also lived in Florida. We have participated in some wonderful programs together that is all about helping other people. And Edie has been part of my life for many years and I'm thrilled with her new opportunity that she is now launching and her new podcast age strong age well and I love that she is part of a community that you and I are both serving Edie we'd love to hear more about how you got started and what you are doing well thank you Barb um, and thank you for inviting me to be a part of this um, I'm really excited about working on this. It's age strong, age well is really about reframing what aging means to us. There is so many opportunities as we age, but typically it has not been looked on like that. It's like, you know, aging sucks and it's hard and it hurts and, and it's really not. There's so many opportunities and there's so many ways, no matter where you are to, to expand your life and still have a very, a very good life and a very full life and a very healthy life. So that's really what the focus is of the podcast. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for that, Edie. Maybe I know that was, um, that's kind of where you're at now. Maybe could you give some background to the audience, you know, where are you from? What have you done in the past? And maybe bring us up to speed, share with us your journey of how you got to that and what you've done recently and, um, maybe what sparked that interest you know, in your mind. Absolutely. I'd love to share with you. My background is really marketing and, and also radio. So mm -hmm. I, um, it, business marketing is what I was in for years. It's what mm -hmm. I went to school for. And then, um, I found myself as a host of a radio show in South Florida. I live in Florida. At that time I was in South Florida. I'm now in Tampa, but I was on a radio show, um, for business entrepreneurs 
And at the time it was perfect for me because I was in business and it was just great timing. However, being on an AM radio show, you're very limited on Mm. your um, audience. So around the same time, I decided to go online. It was really before podcasting was even a word, but um, I did online radio and I decided to do rather than focus on businesses that I wanted to focus on women because it was really my passion was working with women and helping women get more out of their lives and succeed more and just live a happier life as well. So uh, that was, I finished doing that several years ago, stopped doing that. And the my whys for, for launching this are, there's so many. First of all, my real why about health is because I, um, I lost my sister when she was 54 years old. Mm. And um, I lost my dad when he was 56 years old. And a lot of it was lifestyle. It really was. And, and both of them were not even at that point in time, weren't even happy. And then my mom, although she didn't pass away young, she also spent several years ill and in a facility. Um, And I know how important, how valuable that time in our life can be, but also how important it is Mm -hmm. for us to become aware of what the opportunities are. So that's what made me want to, and then I started doing research for myself as, as I'm getting old, as I'm a senior, I wanted to find out what, how can I live a better life now that my kids are growing and I have grandkids, how, what else is there for me in life and, and really reframe the way that we look at aging in the way. So that was my goal. And that's kind of where I come from. And, and I'm excited to be a part of part, a part of this and to really impact lives of other seniors. Wow. That's great. Fantastic. Now, is it going to be a, a video podcast or just audio or what, what's it going to be like? It's it's both. It's 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 video. It's, it'll be on YouTube and it will also be audio on the on podcasts like um, Spotify and iTunes and those types of platforms. So, Good. We were hoping I'm, it was video because I, I've been told I have a face for radio. So but now you need to be you need to have some video. You need to have some video. <laughs> well, thank you. Very kind of you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's fantastic. So go ahead, Barb. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know what some of the things are that um, you are sharing on your podcast. Um, what are the biggest things? Oh, just so many things. Okay. So some of the things that we accept as we get older, like, like not sleeping well, um, that's not okay. Um, so just ways that you can sleep better, ways that you can move better, no matter where you're at um, or how much you can do. And really, and also a big one is also learning to love yourself and love your life. So it's, it's really a well-rounded program where it deals with health and the things it's, it's pro-aging and it can deal with health and it really shows you the benefits of aging. And, um, it's, but mostly everything has to do with things that will help you get more out of your life. Um, so, and it's exercise and sleeping and, and techniques that you can use and ways to be happier, just like your type of thing where you're, you're showing people how to take something that is from the past and connect it to now to increase their happiness in now. So it's all, all aspects of life like that. Mm. Love it. Yeah, that's great. And where are you finding most of your guests? Give us, Um, and maybe tell us about a few of them or maybe at least what they do. um, Well, one that I'm really excited about is he is the um, head of the International Council on Active, he's the founder and the CEO of the International Council on Active Aging. And um, he's just a brilliant speaker and, a, and has a, a wealth of information that has to do with just being more active, again, right where you're at and, and the advantages of that. So I'm looking forward to my interview with him. Um, I have several that are also authors that have written about different aspects of life. One of them wrote um, Longevity Simplified. And to me, it's a great book because it really it addresses where we are. It's not like way up there. It, it comes to our life where we're at and addresses the different things that we can do. So um, a lot of, of authors have, has, have been what I really focused on. But to me, anyone that has um, experience in the area, like yourselves with the with the Seniors Podcast, like like Barb with the, the Making Connections, those types of things that will enrich someone's life as they age and really show them the opportunities that are out there. Hmm. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah, that's great. So it sounds like a, a good referral for you, the type of contacts that maybe if anyone's listening, they could send your way would be one, people to listen to the podcast. It sounds like the demographic is going to be for maybe 50s and older or someone that wants to share it with a parent. Would that be accurate? Absolutely. Okay. And then also to specialists that serve that population that could be good mm-hmm. guests. I'm I'm sure you have a what a six to 12 month waiting list of, of people <laughs> to be on the podcast, but 
at some point you need more guests, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I, and I, I love being able to share other people's stories and other people's knowledge um, that can make a difference for, for anyone listening. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. That's per Bar Barbie. Any, any questions you want to throw in there? Well, I was thinking about some of the people that serve seniors in other ways that, you know, work for the home care agencies that they would want to hear this because they may pick up a tip um, or something that they can take when they're going into the home um, health wise, something that may be a, a stretching exercise or maybe bringing in somebody to do, you know, a little bit of movement. I've met some people that do movement for seniors and that could be a, a really great thing in order to do something like that. Um, and sometimes there are, um, we actually have up here in Tennessee, there may be somebody there, but he's a, a handyman who it's a nonprofit and they serve seniors for free. So they can come in and, and help with those little things around the house. So there are, there are so many people that think, oh, being a senior, this means like you're getting old and it's the end of your life when eventually it will be, but it doesn't have to be, you know, down it can be really positive and joyful. So I I am linking arms with you because you know we have the same outlook on that, and that's that's such a joy. Yes, I agree. We definitely have the same outlook on it. And and just like you just mentioned, that the individual that's a handyman for seniors, the the things that they know about making it easier for seniors and making life better for them that that's a highly valuable resource. Yeah, somebody who um, perhaps. Um, can help make their house safer, widen a doorway if they need to get a wheelchair or to put a ramp instead of some stairs or putting a handrail up, you know, that makes things so much easier for people. And, you know, those also could be some great people to hear or even be on your podcast. So we're excited to try and see who we can connect you with as well. Right. And likewise, I'm looking yeah. forward to being able to connect you with, with people that um, further your goals as well. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thanks for saying that. Well, Edie, I applaud you for taking, it sounds like some pain in the past, losing family members to health issues. Instead of dwelling on that, you're making a positive out of that to help other people. So I applaud you for taking that pain and turning it into a passion. So congratulations on that. And if you could maybe share with the audience to some of the things that allowed you to do that, maybe I'd like to ask it this way. What are some of your superpowers that's helped you through business over the years, but also that's helping you with this endeavor? I think one of the biggest things that helps is connecting with people just like we're doing here, okay. um, just like we do on Alignable. It, it's really connecting with people and hearing other people's stories where they're at and realizing not only how you could help them, but but the synergy that you have and the difference you can make and the, the things that you share and the way you can build each other up. So I really mm -hmm. think it's the connections that make the difference. And then, of course, from the connections comes opportunity and knowledge and experience that just makes life better. Mm -hmm. That's great. So I know Barb mentioned that, that you are a really good connector. So that's funny that you said that. Well, it's definitely, it, it's, a, I think it's a, it's one of the better things that we can do in life. Mm, that's great. Helping others. Yes. Yep. That's great. Brings and brings joy. If, if you're a person who likes helping others, it contributes to your own joy. Um, mm -hmm. I think all three of us have that mindset. So I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Edie, I know your podcast is going to be a fantastic resource for seniors, uh, maybe if you could share some other resources, maybe you found through your research, whether it's a website or whether it's a business or is it any other resource that you could share with the audience or you share with people when they ask you about health or aging or things like that? Uh, I share research. Uh, oh, um, well, I the International Council on Active Aging, I think, is a tremendous resource for okay. people looking for to stay active, but it's also a tremendous resources resource for businesses that service that that market and people okay. that are looking to stay, stay active. Um, I also, I refer people a lot to different types of YouTube videos that really help you see the potential of aging and, and it being a better opportunity. And the other one actually is one that I, this one to me is a funny one because I think the first time that I saw it and, and I know a lot of people do, it was like, why am I getting AARP 
you mm. know, information. Mm -hmm. um, I think you start getting it, what, in your late 40s or something. Right. Yeah. But it is a huge wealth of information. They provide yeah. a lot of information about mm -hmm. um, ways to, to get more out of aging. Got it. And the discounts, who wants to turn yes. those down, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> Why, exactly. Uh, that is great. Good point, Barb. Good point. Oh, that's great. Hey, well, I, um, I clip coupons. Nothing wrong with that. A penny saves a penny earned, right? That's right. Well, um, Edie, anything that we didn't ask you that we should have asked you? No, I think you were you were absolutely very, very thorough. Okay. Thank you for saying that. Well, I know that um, one of the things that really helps seniors is that connection. Another thing that unfortunately hurts seniors is really when they're worrying about things. And a lot of seniors worry about finances. So that's where we come in, that we're able to show seniors how they can take their home equity and use it effectively, uh, efficiently, and, and ethically to actually pay for care or to help them with cash flow in retirement. So that's where we come in is to make sure that seniors aren't trying to have and decide between food and medicine. They're not having to skimp in retirement because most seniors nowadays with the market the way it is, they have more equity in their house than they have cash in their bank account, but the equity in their house doesn't do anything for them, right? It's cash that you can use with everything so expensive. For example, I have a friend that's in Florida. She's an insurance agent and she says every other call is someone complaining about how high the premiums have got on their home. And if they're seniors and the home's paid off, a lot of them are opting to say, forget it. I'm just going to take the risk. So their homes are paid off. They don't have any homeowner's insurance. It's because they can't afford it, but they have a six, $700,000 home paid off where we can show them how, hey, what if you could use some of your equity to protect your home? You'll be able to pass on more wealth to your kids because your home's not going to get blown over by the next hurricane than you can if you don't. So those are the type of things that we talk about. And they don't have to worry. They don't have to have you know mental worry that's going to put strain on their health. So that could be something we could talk about offline. Absolutely. I and I think that's so important because a lot of seniors are sitting at home, they get covered up by that debt or, or worried about expenses, and they don't realize a resource like yourself is out there and available to them to use. So I think that's very important. Yep. Well, we, we'd yeah. love to share that with you. Yeah. And Matt, I remember you know, my parents had a reverse mortgage and that was an income that they had. And that was, you know, many, many years ago. And I know that they have truly improved since the, you know, 20 years ago when my parents had their reverse mortgage, why are they so extra valuable now? Mm, yeah, great question. So the big thing that really, the reason why they're so valuable is that a lot of seniors are undersaved, but they're, they've got a, uh, I guess you could say a retirement mulligan from the market because they're, they haven't saved enough money, but fortunately or unfortunately with COVID, the value of homes have just skyrocketed. So it's almost like a second chance for cash flow. Um, so there's a lot of equity there, but unfortunately the the negative uh, connotations from the past of the reverse mm -hmm. mortgages is that um, used to be they could borrow a huge percentage. Now they can only borrow half or less than the home. Most situations it's 30 or 40%. So whenever they sell or whenever they pass along the home, there's still gonna be equity for the family. So that's one change. The other change is they have to take a class in most situations. So no one gets into any of these without understanding. So they go through a certified class with an FHA certified instructor that they know everything about it. So I think some people got into them and didn't know it. And then also too, the rules were a little different in the past because FHA, the government, you know, there's pros and cons with the government. You don't want your government involved in everything, but also too, the government usually protects people uh, especially seniors in this situation. So there's a lot of consumer protection that's in place now that wasn't in place in the past to help people age in place. That's great. Yeah, good question. So, well, I'm so glad that we were able to put this together, um, able to mesh our schedules together and uh, put this on. So thank you guys both for being here. Barbara, anything else to add? No, just thrilled to be together with the two of you and Edie that we are once again, aligned with something that we're both doing and that we get to find new ways to work together. And I agree with you 100%. And I truly appreciate you you two inviting me to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. Well, you're so welcome. Edie, could you share before we run 
Um, I know you're in launch phase. How are people going to be able to search and find your podcast once you launch it? Um, I do have a page on Facebook that is Age Strong, Age Well Podcast. Okay. Um, they can also find me um, through my name, either on, on Facebook or um, my website is edgalley.com. So they can find it any one of those three ways. Okay. Sounds great. And Barb, how would they find you? Barbabramson.com, Making Meaningful Connections. I am on both Facebook um, as a business page. And personally, I'm also on LinkedIn and our Alignable Serving Seniors. Sounds great. Well, thank you both. And then thank you for watching the Serving Senior Podcast, where we help those businesses and professionals be promoted that serve seniors at a high level. Thanks again. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Hey, this is Matt Helton with One Trust Home Loans, home of Retirement Mortgage Solutions. And we really do appreciate you checking out the Serving Seniors podcast today. Now, please go to the description down in the body uh, of the podcast where you can subscribe to get future shows. Please click that notification button so you get notified when other shows drop. And also, if you can go to servingseniorspodcast.com, and we'd love to hear a comment about our show. We have a heart to serve seniors and we have a heart to make sure seniors don't just survive retirement, don't just get by in retirement. We want to show seniors how to thrive in retirement. So if you know of anyone that's 55 and older that could use some extra cash flow, maybe the retirement's not going the way that they like, our retirement mortgage solutions are designed for folks, depending on the state, they're either 55 or 62 and older, to make sure that they have that kind of retirement that they want. As long as they own a home and they're in a good equity position, there could be some solutions that they may not have thought about, or maybe they thought of and they just didn't know how they work. That's what we do. So anyone in that age group that could use some mortgage advice, my team and I would love to be able to help them. Thanks again and look forward to seeing you on the next show. Have a great day.